Okay guys, I've been out here this morning uh, kind of playing around making some sample parts and as you can see what I'm making is kind of a uh, rack and pinion type gear system. Uh, all I, these are just uh, some test pieces here because all I have uh, was some half inch MDF. I don't have any oak or anything, uh, any kind of hardwood out here to try to make these with. But this is working good enough for me to see uh, how the gears mesh and all that and uh, one thing you have to think about when you're trying to cut uh, something like this on a CNC of course I'm cutting it uh, you know with it flat like this but but when you're using a round bit uh, typically one of these you know would be cut if it was in steel it would be machined and it would have a flat on the bottom and the tops of these teeth would be flat and they they would uh, of course they both have the same uh, pitch angle and uh, these have like a 20 degree pitch angle but because I'm using a round router bit and I'm using an eighth inch diameter bit, that means I'm going to have a 1 16th radius uh, on all these inside things. So what I actually did is after I drew this, I went ahead and put the, the radius everywhere where, it was, where there wasn't one before so that I would try to get a little bit better match up the way this thing rolls through there. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it'll work pretty good for some things. Let me, uh, let me move the camera down and I'll uh, let you take a closer look at this. Okay, I think you can see that, uh, you know, obviously this isn't going to be any kind of a precision uh, movement. But uh, I think you can get the uh, teeth to mesh in there good enough. And of course I could go with bigger, bigger teeth too, stuff like that. But I think this would work well for a lot of applications, uh, things that, you know, you might want to build in your shop, uh, you know, right off the top of my head, I'm thinking a, a router lift, you know, you might be able to utilize these, uh, maybe put one on each corner, uh, attach the gears with a shaft and, and then have a bigger gear to, uh, to turn them all and you would not get some nice smooth movement lifting up a, a router lift. So that may be something I uh, redesign because I'm really kind of wanting to redo mine anyway when I, when I make my other, uh, table saw I'm thinking about incorporating a, a router lift in the the table saw on the on the right hand side you know in kind of like a leaf so that might be something I think about anyway just wanted to show you this real quick uh, let me know your thoughts if uh, you think that would work for something like that or give me some other ideas if you th can think of something else it might work on uh, another thing I thought about is uh, maybe I might try to uh, come up with some kind of uh, um, movement like this uh, to, to raise up that uh, that wooden sawmill that I've been working on because I'm not really happy with the cable system. It's kind of awkward and doesn't really work that great. I mean it lifts it up but uh, I think this would be something that would would uh, be a lot better. Obviously it wouldn't be made out of MDF but uh, anyway it's something to, uh, something to think about. Okay so that's going to do it for this uh, quick little video. Uh, again I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already please do. If you like the kind of videos you find on my channel please hit the, uh, the like button and, uh, and leave me a comment too. Let me know uh, what you like and what you don't like and uh, I sure appreciate it. Anyway that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.